how are you today? Oh, I am so thrilled to talk to you today about Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is fast approaching and here's why I'm doubly excited for Mother's Day. It's my birthday. So every so often my birthday falls on Mother's Day and this would be the year. So I'm thrilled with Mother's Day this year. And um, I want to talk, so a lot of people celebrate Mother's Day. Some people don't celebrate. Some people go really dressy. Some people go really casual. Some people just like, I wish this day would just hurry up and get over with. So whatever you want to do, it's fine. But I did want to say, uh, show you some things to wear for Mother's Day because I do get a lot of, of suggestions and asking like, what can I wear for Mother's Day? You know, what's appropriate. So the thing of it is, Mother's Day always falls on a Sunday. So I go to church and I usually wear a dress. That's the way I was raised. I cannot make myself go to church without wearing a dress. It's just between my ears. Anyway, so I always wear a dress. And um, the funny part of it is, is my husband always compliments me when I put on a dress. So maybe I should wear a dress more often besides just going to church. But anyway, so I wanted to show you maybe three outfits, wearing a dress, different lengths, etc. One is just a brightly colored floral. It just looks like summer, just looks like, come on, give me some warm weather. I love this dress, it's really pretty. Um, and it's easy, easy peasy dress. This next one is just as beautiful. It's really probably one of the prettiest dresses I've worn in a while. Of course, this exact print has already sold out, but it's got a lot of different colors to, to choose from that are also pretty. But I love the V-neck, the V-neck, and it actually has smock hair around the waist, which I did not think I would like because I carry most of my weight during my waist. It looks beautiful. Love this dress. It is pleated, another one of those things I did not think I would like. So I want to encourage you always to get outside your comfort zone and try it on. You just don't know. So I love that. And the last one, it looks like a dress, but it's actually two pieces. And I like this one really well because it will, um, you can wear it with other things. So I can wear the skirt with something else. I can wear the top with something else. And the top has long sleeves, which is something to think about because at Mother's Day, it's iffy. It could snow. It could be beautiful. You just don't know. So there is three dresses. And I know the, this last one is above the knee, quite a bit above the knee. And some people think, you know, I'm over 50. You should not wear a dress above the knee. Get over yourself. If you want to wear it, wear it. Don't worry about it, what other people think. This is your dress, your body, your personal taste. Wear what you like. Um, next, what to wear for a Mother's Day brunch. So, Last year, we attended a Mother's Day brunch, and it was so fabulous. I'm hoping we go again this year. Now, I wore a really nice maxi dress last year. I may wear a maxi dress. I may wear a dress I wore to church. Or I might wear something like this really cute jumpsuit. It's got little bitty tiny micro daisies all over. It is so pretty. It is wide leg. Once again, it's got smocking. The entire bodice is smocking. And it's got little thin straps, tie strap. I don't, I don't, if they're, I don't remember. I don't think they're tie straps. Anyway, they've got small straps, and I would definitely put something over top of it. I put a white linen blazer over this one, and uh, so I really, really like it. Once, uh, and I do like a jumpsuit. Uh, it's like a dress. It's one outfit, one item, one choice. Pick it out of your closet. Done. Bingo. Done. So that's why I really like that. This next one, I love. It's so casual looking. It's so dang polished and chic. That's perfect. So this one, it is some black wide leg linen pants. I love these pants. Really, really like these pants. Now, you can't tell it in this photos, but they swallowed me. They were huge. I sent them back and immediately ordered down a size. Now I like that size much better. Kept them, love them. I paired the black with a camel blazer. It looks so sharp. Black and camel looks so good together. Um, and I just wore a white shirt underneath it. This happens to be a cashmere blend tee, but you could wear it with anything that's white underneath it. The white just breaks up the three colors. It makes it look sharp. And I put a, um, a matching, 
not like exact match, but coordinating, a coordinating um, woven faux leather handbag with it. Love that. Now this last one is, is to wear to a brunch, so it is a cute little dress. It is so sweet and so cute, and it is a, um, I'm looking at that. That is not right. <laughs> I'm looking at the links and they're not right. I'm gonna go in and fix those links. It is a cute little chambray dress. Um, love this dress. It is cutesy. You know, that's the only word that comes to it. Adorable. It's that kind of a look. It's got long sleeve. It hits just above the knee. Not real short, but just above the knee. And it is adorable. Now, what if your Mother's Day is casual? For me, a lot of times the grandbabies come over We've gone to parks before. We've gone to take them out to, you know, McDonald's or wherever, just someplace for them to have fun, maybe to the movies or whatever. So a lot of times you want to wear casual outfits because if you've got grandbabies that are small like mine, you do a whole lot of bending, picking up, you know, running after them, playing, pushing them on the swings, whatever you want casual. So this outfit is one of my favorites. Once again, it is a classic polished, chic looking, super casual outfit. I love the way to dress like this. It's a pair of wide leg jeans that are trendy because they have the fringe at the bottom, fringe heel, hem, a white t-shirt and a black blazer. Looks great. So I love that, it's super easy to do. Next is a pair of navy crops. Uh, they are also wide leg, which is trending. So this shows when you wear a trending item, it shows that you are paying attention to fashion and that you're looking modern and young looking. So yes, 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 I want all that. So I paired that with a square neck um, puff sleeve shirt, which is also kind of a trend right now. People love the square neck. I do like a V-neck the very best, as you can see it along next to my neck. It makes me look taller and thinner, but a square neck still shows a lot of skin here, which does help to, uh, once again, make you look like you've got a longer neck so that's great this last one is super easy also is a pair of white pants and a um a polo shirt or it's a sweater so it's a polo sweater it has a little design detail the point tail design so the little holes and it is beautiful it is so pretty and i picked it in a bright blue or a more like a medium would do it's not like a cobalt it's between a cobalt and a, a, a light blue so i love that one and the last outfit, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I keep saying that, don't I? Well, I wouldn't want to show you anything I didn't think was pretty. Anyway, this is a pair of wide leg jeans with a t-shirt that has a graphic uh, lavender bloom on it, a lavender bouquet. And it has a orchids, what this, this is called. It looks kind of pinky, lavender, orchid, I don't know, denim jacket. This looks so casual, so put together, so perfect for Mother's Day, and you can run and play with the grandbabies. You can do whatever you not you need to do, and um, go out to have lunch. Go out and have, you know, just go. Just get out, have fun, celebrate. Anyway, remember it's going to be my birthday. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I love this. Uh, these looks. I will send you the links. You just click on that one link. It will show you all this and it will tell you the sizing. That way you will know how they fit. I'm five, six, as far as my height, I'm five foot six. And I generally weigh between 150 and 155. And um, you can tell how the outfits fit. I put my sizing and if I needed to size down, I will say it on there. Like I'm wearing a medium, but I need to size down. So anyway, I hope you ladies found something you like. Be sure and share my post or um, just tell somebody about it. I'll talk to you guys later. See you next week.